The cantilever chair is a, a most extraordinary chair, fascinating chair. The idea of the cantilever chair in, in design history is very closely linked to the introduction of tubular steel into furniture design, which happened in 1925 by Marcel Breuer, who created this first famous uh, chair made of tubular steel. Before that, tubular steel was only used for hospital furniture, military furniture. And then there was the evolution just one year later to uh, Ludwig Mies van der Rohe's interpretation of the same typology. And the breakthrough was that Mies used um, cold bent tubular steel. And now comes Rietfeld with something completely new. The idea of a cantilever which is only surface. There is no longer a frame. The idea is already there that something in one material is something much more reduced. Now Rietfeld continued with that idea in a very interesting way. Here there are still four boards that are screwed, but now he finds a way to really form from one piece. Now you have this continuum, which is a ribbon, a sort of a ribbon. And then the real big step came with the so-called panton chairs. All these chairs were very interesting conceptually, but not in wide distribution. Mm -hmm. And now, for the first time, the idea comes up to do a surface cantilever chair in plastics. Of course, it was a very new idea, and uh, it took a long time for Werner to find somebody who would sort of say, this is feasible, okay. because it looked as unrealizable at the time. And then he came to Basel and talked to my father and myself and so this, this story of the Panton chair started. Okay, and then comes the Evoc. In a way, the synthesis of different chair ideas. And now we have a combination uh, it's a one material chair, like the surface chairs, but thanks to a new technology or recent technology in injection molding, mm. the internal pressure molding, we can create hollow pieces, which are acting like, like a tube. So here the materials acts has different roles. Mm. It has a surface role and it has a tube role. And through this gas injection, indeed, you can create a tube. But you don't need a separate tube, you have the same material. So you have this mono material look, but you have the effect almost of a cantilever chair of the classical type, plus considerable more comfort because actually it swings very well, but it also, this thin blade allows you to move backwards and sideways. So it's a, in that sense, a great, uh, uh, it, it's a much more ergonomic kind of seat and it's of all of plastic which means also it's completely recyclable in, piece, in chairs that are composed of different pieces you always have to separate before you recycle there you can recycle immediately that's the way plastic should be used it's a product that will be around for a very long time yeah, like that why not yeah. I like that color actually.